Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo and Parkway RV Center. Sorry it's been a couple of days. I've been trying to fight off this crud I've got, and I am wasn't plan on doing a video today, but I wanted to go ahead and just do a quick one on this, so y'all just bear with me if I lose my voice uh, or mess up a little bit. Uh, today we're going to look 2008 Thor Four Winds Siesta. And guys, this is a little diesel-powered Class C motor home. Uh, built on a Freightliner, which back then, guys, until about 2012, Mercedes-Benz owned Dodge, Freightliner, and, of course, the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter chassis. They're the exact same thing. A lot of people get confused about that, but the Sprinter, the Dodge, the Sprinter chassis, whether it's his Freightliner, Mercedes, or Dodge, is exactly identical to each other besides the emblem on it. So this unit does have the three liter V6 Mercedes-Benz turbo diesel, 154 horsepower. Um, what I'm reading online, these things are getting right around 18 miles a gallon. It is a class C, does have a little bit of a cab over, not as much as some of the other ones, but uh, that's what helps it get the fuel mileage it does. Still has a bed in the cab over too. This unit's only got 79,000 miles, which the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter was designed with a 500,000 mile practical service life. So don't really think there's any worries there. 10,000 miles between oil changes. So, um, you know, these were actually designed very, very, were designed very well and they're designed to last. And of course, they're not cheap. You look at these things brand new. Just a Sprinter van with a, with a motor home in it is 200,000. So, but you get what you paid for. And this is a it's Freightliner, exact same thing as a Mercedes Benz, just doesn't have that Benz emblem on the front, which you could probably get one of them if you wanted to. 79,000 miles, does have the full body paint, does have a patio awning. Of course, it's an 08, so you know, you got a little bit of fading on the very, very top, but not bad. Michelin tires. Does have a 3.6 kW propane generator, which does run. Now, these first generation Mercedes, I believe is only rated to tow 3,500 pounds, and it does have a trailer hitch. And backup camera works great. Does have a slide with awning topper. Total length is only 24 and a half feet long. So this is only two or three feet longer than your typical Mercedes-Benz van, Class B camper van. But it's a wider one too. It's a 3500 chassis with the dual rear wheels. So you got a wider body, so you got a lot more space on the inside. But still get the fuel mileage and the drivability of a Mercedes. And you've got some nice features like independent front suspension, anti-lock brakes all the way around. You know, Mercedes-Benz pretty much the gold standard when it comes to safety equipment, especially in the 08 model. Let's look inside. Now guys, we did have to have the front seats recovered. It is a Thor, had that flaking furniture problem, so we did have all the seats recovered in here, this and the front captain's chairs. 79,000 miles, no check engine light besides a tail light which we'll get to, we just hadn't got to yet. Uh, so no worries there. This is a, uh, whew, I'm gonna turn that air on for a minute. It's a little warm in here. And again, guys, I apologize. It's, uh, I'm still fighting this bug and I don't know what in the world it is. Some kind of sinus infection that's going around right now that's really bad. So, uh, whew. But, dash air does work. Stereo sounds good. And, uh, windshield looks good. Backup camera works. You know, you're going to love This is a pre-def, no def fluid. These things, guys, that is a huge selling point right now. You have to fool with that DEF fluid, diesel exhaust fluid on this one. Newer ones you have to. Little Jensen audio system, this is all your 
control panels, your lights. Small bed up top. This is really just for one person up top here. This is your table if you want to set it up in the table booth. There's your ladder. A little small television right up here above the door. Got a solid surface countertops. Like I said, it's a small motorhome, guys. It's not huge, but a lot more space in the van. And you can actually stand up in this one too, guys. I'm six foot four. I can walk through this thing front to back. Table booth does make a bed if you want it to. Uh, there's the table. You set it down. There's that extra cushion uh, that sits down. Uh, where the table booth goes and makes the bed solid wood cabinetry refrigerator's clean I didn't really turn much on guys because I, I don't know how, how long I'll be able to do this today but uh, I, see, I just want to give you a quick view about it half time oven so this is a microwave convection oven two burner stove top Single basin sink, um, solid wood cabinets, stationary bed. This is just a double or a full size bed. So this thing can technically sleep two back here. <coughs> oh, excuse me, guys. With some overhead storage, you can sleep one to two on the table bed and maybe one up here. So I'm going to say very conservatively you can sleep five people in here um so not really something for a huge group of people but then again you're not going to find a 24 and a half footer that is closet right here you actually got a bathroom with a separate shower skylight everything looks good in here led lights not bad um for an 08 it's it's pretty nice condition uh nada book on this thing with no options is like 61 grand we got it for 54.9 while it lasts and like i said that's you know we spent quite a bit of money having the everything reupholstered because i've been noticing something guys uh you know thor had the world's worst luck with the flaking furniture problem and just about every dealer for sale by owner is just selling it like they are but we're still be either replacing them or having them recovered even though it costs us a lot of money it takes a little bit of time that's just one of the many things that makes us different from everybody else i do have to fix one blind over there behind that cushion but uh, all this is freshly recovered so you never have to worry about it flaking again um versus the other ones for sale which are uh are flaking um and it looks like crap in my opinion but you know, my, my upholstery guys do a great job and uh, they did a good great job on this one even though it took them a couple weeks to do it um but this unit is 54 9 will trade financing is available with approved credit and down payment these are one of the most fuel efficient for the size motor homes that you can buy they're diesel they go a long way between phillips and um plenty of torque i know 154 horsepower doesn't sound like a lot of power 325 pound feet of torque though on this little motor home will take you down the road i mean this thing hit the interstate 80 miles an hour if you want to so definitely uh a lot more power than most class c's have even when they have the bigger motor the bigger gas motor with the more torque and more horsepower it's on a lot heavier motor home so i think the size for the horsepower and the torque of this can't be beat not to mention they drive so great and they're so quiet guys anyway um let me know what you think about it in the comments below glad to be back guys i'll uh, i feel like i try to do one tomorrow uh, i'm just kind of taking it easy i've been just doing pictures putting stuff on the website last couple of days i'm one of those guys that i'm always at work even when i'm sick so um i may not be doing videos but i'm at least putting pictures and putting stuff on the website so Check out the website, see some of the stuff I've added. Uh, hopefully the stuff I've added, I'll get around to doing a video too. But uh, this one right here, it's just kind of my guinea pig. See how my voice holds up. And uh, so far, so good. May sound a little hoarse, and believe me, guys, I feel as rough as I sound. But 
Heck, we all got a we all got a job to do. Uh, this is an 08 Four Wind Siesta <coughs> 24 SA, 79,000 miles, 54 nine while it lasts. Mercedes Benz Sprinter or Freightliner Dodge Sprinter, whatever you want to call it. Same thing. Um, thank you so much for watching. Like I said, it's going to be short and sweet. Call before coming to look. Make sure it's available. 706-965-7929. We take trade-ins. Financing is available with approved credit. If you want information about any of that, give us a call. Um, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you smash me a thumbs up. I know this is not my best video, guys, but uh, they'll get, I'll get over this crap in a couple of days. Um, but thank you so much for watching, and look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.